So far, we have seen that there are two types of type conversion in C++. One is implicit, which is done by the compiler, and the programmer doesn't have to do that. And the second one is explicit type conversion. And this second one we call as typecasting. And we saw that uh, there are five different types of typecasting. So the first one we call C style typecasting. That was earlier used in C, the C language. So first we need to understand why do we need typecast or explicit conversion. So if the compiler does it for you, then why do we need it? So let's take one example. Let's say A is a float and its value is 2. B is int with value 2. C is an int with value 3. And here D is an int and we are adding A and B. So A was float and B is int. So what will happen here? A is float, so B will be promoted to float. So it will be like 2.0 plus 2.0 and it will be 4.0 and finally this result will be stored in an integer variable so it will be converted back to 4 integer so here there is no problem but let's take another example so this d we will when we print it will give 4 but here let's say we divide c by b so c is an int b is also an int so before assigning the result to this e, both the data types are integer. So the calculation will be done as integer and it will be 1. And then it will be stored to a float variable. So it will be converted to 1.0. So we will get 1.0. But this is wrong. Uh, uh, not wrong, but uh, not very precise. It should have been 1.5. So here the compiler did implicit conversion while assigning the result to the float variable, but that was not enough. We need to uh, do that beforehand. So if we had manually converted it to float, one of the variables, doesn't matter whether C or B, then the result would have been calculated in float only. B would be, B would be promoted to float as well. And then it would be 3.0 divided by 2.0. And then it would have been 1.5, which would be stored in float as 1.5. So here we see that implicit type conversion is not enough and may result in imprecise results. So that's why we need explicit uh, type conversion or type cast. So now let's study about C style casting. So its syntax is that we specify the data type and then the expression or the variable. So it would be if we want to convert a float to int, then we will write int and then the float value, let's say 2.5, then it will be converted to 2. So this is the syntax and let's Take the same example, but this time uh, we will modify it. So instead of this one, we will change it to float C divided by B. So here what, what will happen? C is we are explicitly casting it to float. So this part is float. Now B is an integer. So B will be upcasted to float. And then we will have the same thing, 3.0 divided by 2.0 and the result will be calculated as 1.5 and then we will be saving it to a float variable. So it will be saved as this result only. And when we print this, we will get 1.5, which is the expected value. If we had this int e equal to this float c upon b then the result will be 1.5 and then while saving it to an integer variable it would be converted to 1.0 or 1. So this is the c style casting in the next videos we will see the other four types of casting in c++ using the cast operators. So see you in the next video. Thank you.